Hey everyone, it's Ava and I'm at Starbucks at City Walk with... Hi, I'm uh, Chase Austin you're watching On The Spot Interviews. Well, thank you so much for meeting me here. Yeah, anytime, anytime. It's always a pleasure. So I saw you on Shake It Up as a love interest of Bella. How cool was that? Oh, uh, <laughs> actually, my little brother is obsessed with the show, so he was very, very jealous that I was the love interest. Um, but too bad I couldn't see her <laughs> because I was blind. <laughs> but uh, no, overall, it was a great experience. She was awesome, the sweetest girl I've ever met. Um, yeah, it was just, it was wonderful. How did you kind of pull off truly making it seem like you were blind? That was that was interesting. I spent a, before I was cast, I spent a couple of a couple of days with a blindfold around my eyes just to kind of get acquainted with how people move. Um, I also watched a, a lot of videos on how people uh, how blind people people are actually blind and how they react. Um, uh, I even I actually have a blind friend and I spent some time with them and uh, I think that accumulating with a, a couple of weeks of rehearsal it kind of just summed up to what it was, you know? Yeah, and I loved that episode. I was watching it. I love when she puts her hands over your eyes and she's like, guess who? And you're like, it's you. I don't know anyone else who put their hands over the eyes of a blind guy. <laughs> that was actually, that wasn't in the script originally. That was, um, I think one of the producers didn't like how the flow was going at the time, and so they added that in later, and it ended up being a huge hit. Everyone loved it. And from all the blogs that I've read, they loved that episode. So... <laughs> yeah, I, I want you to come back. Do you have any other episodes you might be in? Oh, I I actually don't. Uh, but Bella did say on the set that she we her and I actually got together pretty well. We were we we both shared the love of jalapenos, so so we uh, we got along pretty well. And she was like at the end of our, our shoot, she was like, "We need to get you a reoccurring. We need to get you a reoccurring." So I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna object to that. Sure." Why not? No, why not? Exactly. Do you have any other upcoming projects? Uh, actually, yes. Uh, I am in this, um, it's an independent film called The Darkness Descending, starring Danny Trejo. Okay. Um, it comes out later uh, later this year, during the uh, during the summer. Uh, it is a thriller slash uh, horror film. Uh, it takes place in the sewers of New York. And I play a um, kind of like an Aladdin-type character very uh, on his feet running here and there having to steal to eat and I have a I have a sister that I have to take care of okay yeah. can you say who plays the sister uh actually I cannot oh, that always happens doesn't it It always does it always does I'm sorry but it's I cannot okay. it'll be a surprise when it comes out though yeah and I'll definitely see it it's is it rated R uh, PG-13 okay then I can see it yeah that'd be awesome right yeah. but um other than that uh right now uh I am up for a reoccurring on a uh, on a sitcom called um, Melissa and Joey. Okay. Yes, uh, but other than that, everything's been kind of kind of chill. Uh, the year just started up, and auditions are finally starting to come back in. But other than that, it's been kind of busy. How do you like to get prepared for your auditions? Oh, a lot of repetition. A lot of repetition. I, as soon as I get my sides, I immediately lock myself into my room and uh, memorize my lines, read them, and then from there, I build a character depending on what the breakdown is. Yeah, I remember when I did theater when I was little, just like community theater, yeah. it was not easy to memorize those lines, um, but repetition is exactly what I did. Yeah, repetition. It's um, That's part of the, um, if, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, the Meisner technique, which it, it takes a lot of uh, repetition and uh, it allows you to get into your comfort zone yeah. with words. Because you know when you... When you get lines, at first you're kind of cold, which is why they call it cold reading. But once you get them in your in your body and you can feel them and say them without any hesitation, you can actually become something. So yeah, that's the technique that I use. Now, do you remember if you ever like forgot a line or goofed up while on Shake It Up? Oh, uh, on Shake It Up, have I flubbed a line? Oh, several times. Are you kidding me? During those rehearsals, oh geez, especially when you can't look at the script because you're I'm like I'm like acting blind. I got to, but actually, funny story. One of the um, one of the rehearsals, network rehearsals. Uh, Phil Morris, who plays Zendaya's uh, father on oh, the show, yeah. Phil Morris. The yeah, the doctor. Um, one of the rehearsals, he was noticing that I was in character, but I had the script right in front of me, and I would turn the pages according to the end of the page, and I wasn't even looking at it. And after after the shoot, he would look at me and go, "That was possibly the funniest thing there." You're blind and you're turning a page because you know it that well. It shows how committed you are. And I'm, that was a huge, because I'm a huge comic book geek. And Phil Morris is huge in the comic book kind of so things. Connected with him as well. 
very much. I talked to I talked with him and Bella a lot throughout that entire experience. But yeah, it was great. And in the episode, you said that you liked classical music and you liked school. How do you feel about classical music in school uh, and summer school? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, summer school. Um, school, I am I, I'm actually good at it, so I like it. Um, classical music is not my cup of tea. Uh, or classy music. Or, or, or classy music, as they like to say. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, classical music mixed with maybe a little bit of uh, hip hop would be nice, but not classical music. Yeah, I'm into the pop and the Justin Bieber, all that okay, stuff. Nice. Like I said, that gorilla, I swear it was in the baby music video. <laughs> oh, this giant King Kong yeah. right here? Oh, I didn't. Uh, the baby, oh, Justin Bieber. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. I gotta look back at that. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched it enough. I pretty much haven't memorized. I bet. <laughs> so, you mentioned you're involved with a few charities that you've worked with over the past few years. Can you name them? Um, one of the most important ones uh, that I'm still involved with is um, in Compass, which is a um, it's students for bias-free classrooms and anti-bullying in classrooms. And what we do is, as an ensemble, as an acting troupe, we put together these scenes for teachers who are being taught to be teachers, pretty much. They're in training. And we go there and we uh, perform these scenes that have, I guess, um, undertones of uh, racism or sexism and uh, in the classroom. And we perform these scenes and the teachers decide what would be the best way to handle those. Um, being a kid who grew up in the theater, I was, I was picked on a lot when I was younger, so I, was, I related a lot to it. Uh, that one, and also I contribute yearly to uh, the Hands Free Foundation which is also another anti, anti-bullying anti foundation. There, there's so many of those, and it's great to just get involved with a couple, really I think. Is. It really is. It makes, me, it makes me feel good as a person, and also knows that I also feel good knowing that someone else is being um, taken care of. This is on the spot interview, so I'm going to ask you some random questions. Does that sound good? Go for it. Okay. Um, favorite place in City Walk? Favorite place in City Walk? Oh, Wasabi Sushi, which is actually right there, right behind you. Is sushi your favorite food? Absolutely my favorite. Absolutely. A good caterpillar roll will, like, oh, it's a great, it's a good way to start the day. <laughs> and celebrity crush? Celebrity crush. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, I ask everyone because everyone always wants to know. Mm, are you familiar with the show Suits on USA? Oh, uh, there's a girl who plays a character, Rachel Zane, um, who is gorgeous. But if you don't know that one, Hannah Simone from New Girl is also... Okay. Gorgeous. If you're watching this, Anna Simone, please call me up. I, I will propose to you immediately, actually. Since you don't have Twitter, I will tweet this to her. Yeah, you will. You, thank you. I appreciate you're welcome. It. Thank you. <laughs> We're approaching Valentine's Day in 12 days, I think. If you could send a Valentine to anyone, knowing that they would reply and that they would actually read it, who would it be? <laughs> who would uh, Would it be? Oh, it would have to be um, jo Joanne from... Uh, I Carly, girl who plays Sam Puckett. Oh, Jeanette. 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 That's what it was. Yeah. I apologize, Jeanette. Okay. I haven't seen her in a couple of years, but we <laughs> we had a lot of fun doing my uh, my I my I Carly thing with her. So um, I would I would send her a Valentine just as a joke and see what she would do. But yeah, that uh, it ended. I'm so sad. I know. It was, I loved that show. I'm I'm not. I'm a little bit older, but I still loved that show. That show was so funny. I think it was voted like the best kids show. Really? Yeah. That's. A couple years ago. Nice. Oh, good. It definitely deserves it. It does. If you're stranded on a deserted island, what three things would you bring with you? Three things. I would bring a uh, Sudoku book, a book, uh, <laughs> a couple of things of sushi, and uh, my my book, uh, Les Mis. Okay. That's the, a movie now, right? Yes, it is, actually, starring Hugh Jackman and Anne Hathaway and all of that. Yeah, but the book itself is really long and it'll take a lot of time to read it but I, I love it I've read it twice already so oh, wow. yeah it's a great book do you tend to like the movies better or the books better you know it, it depends uh, um, uh, I liked the books of Harry Potter then I then I did the movies but the movies are great but I just there's something about the book that stays true to it um, uh, but things like Les Mis I think the movie was a lot better than the book personally all the movies were actually better than the book because the book is so thick and you have to really get engrossed in it but a movie is you gotta sit down and relax and you enjoy it you know what yeah. I mean yeah. that's how I feel but my parents when I was little they would make me read all the books first yeah. to get me to read but I didn't mind it like 
it was like Charlotte's Web and stuff. So I liked them. That's interesting. My parents did the same thing. They wanted me to uh, to read the books before I saw a movie, just so I can get the full perspective. So I'm not alone. You're not alone. I'm right there with you. (laughs) And um, if you were to have any other career besides acting, what would it be? I'm actually going to go into politics there. I'm going to answer with politics. Uh, I've always been very inspired to go into politics. Um, One of my favorite shows, actually, is The West Wing by Aaron Zorkin. Um, It's off the air right now, but I was, at a very young age, I was like, I'm going to be a politician. So, but then I kind of fell into the acting. Excuse me, sorry, I sucked in a bug, I think. Oh, it's okay. (laughs) That happened when I saw Demi Lovato. She swallowed a fly on stage. Did she really? What was her reaction? Was she just like... Um, she was just like, oh, sorry, guys, I swallowed a fly, and like everyone just started laughing. She played it off cool. It's protein. It's okay. It's good. True. True. <laughs> and um, I know you don't have Twitter, but do you have like a Facebook fan page, Instagram, your IMDb and website? Uh, I have an IMDb. I, I do not have a website. I have a Facebook fan page. It's Chase Austin. Just look it up. I'm usually the very first one. And um, I have an Instagram. I sadly do not have a Twitter. I never picked up on that fad. But I, I like Twitter actually the most out of all of them. Yeah. It's like Instagram, but it's like words yeah. and pictures. You can do pictures as well. Oh, I think I might take a look into it. You should. It'll be your fault I'll, if I get hooked on it. I'll be your first follower. <laughs> well, then, thank you. I'd appreciate that. <laughs> and is there anything else you'd like to add to this interview? Uh, no, you're awesome. Oh, thank you. You are too. <laughs> Thanks. Well, thank you so much, and I hope to see you again soon, and I wish you great luck with your college and acting and everything. Thank you so much. Keep in touch. I will. Thank you. <laughs>